Hi guys, uh, James here, DCC Train Automation. Uh, just wanted to show you another couple of products. Um, this is a reverse loop module from LS Digital. Um, probably not many of you have heard about that in the UK. Um, but let's just show you this. Um, I've got a little Engage demo I've just put together. This shows not only um, the reverse loop module working, but how it can work with feedback, with occupancy detection. So let's just have a look at what we have here. So here, here is my little demo rig we just set up. Um, I do apologize for the crudity of it, but um, I hope, hopefully this will, this will show you a few things. So here at the moment, this is um, the DR5000 uh, from DigiKey Central Unit um, with LocoNet feedback monitoring and at present, um, we have a loco uh, just before the turnout here in um, feedback section. And as you can see, this is lit and there's a little tick. Okay. And we have the low connect feedback module. We then have the LS Digital 5410 reverse loop module for these uh, different gauges here. They do do a bigger one for O gauge and G gauge. Um, these are on our website. Um, so, what have we done? Okay, in the output, this uh, feeds our reverse loop. Okay, I've then got full isolation at the point. Um, the way we have fed it is like this. The positive in goes back to the feedback output of the DR4088LN. And then the green wire, the common return, goes back to the common side of the track power. Uh, then we follow this wire and this is just the green wire is the common turn and the yellow is the feedback and again the yellow goes into another output of our feedback module. So here we have the little thing set up. Um, this loco uh, is just sat here in this feedback area. So if we drive this loco uh, the other way might help. So the loco is now moving. Um, when it crosses the turnout at this point, uh, it's an old turnout, so apparently, you hear a click. So now uh, the, the reverse loop has done its business, it's changed the polarity. And also you'll see there is now a tick in the feedback loop. So this is now detecting the loco in this section. And even though it's still got a reverse loop, we're still detecting the loco there. Um, he's driving, as it, you can see. We can speed him up a bit. Okay, so then he'll go past the detection zone. And when he comes back into here, you'll hear the click of the relay again. There you go. And the detection also, so if I just change the loco, turn him around. So if you watch as he goes from section to section, there you go. He leaves one section and goes into the next. I go around my reverse loop. And as he goes past the point, you might see it on the screen change. There we go, and the detection changed. So this works um, really well. Um, so now we can monitor the reverse loop section. So within iTrain or Train Controller, you can have um, reverse loops and you can also have occupancy detection. Um, hope this is useful to you. Um, it works, I've just set it up. We have no problems at all. So that is with the LS Digital 50410.